Hello everybody, this is our very first lecture and I have just attached a picture of your syllabus here so that you know that this is all what we are going to cover and we'll be starting with the Tempest and I wouldn't want to waste a lot of time before jumping right into it but yes, I do hope that all of you are doing pretty well mentally and please don't overstress yourself. You have time and you know as we go on I'll also be giving you some tips on time management and everything and you know what you will ace it, don't you worry. Let's just start now, all right? So the thing is for a text like The Tempest, you can't go line by line because it will cause a lot of wastage of time and you won't understand the themes that are actually a bit more important than understanding the dialogues in their entirety. So yeah, we'll start off and uh, what I'm going to do is that we'll take up the important themes like this one. Describe the Harpy's warning to Alonso, Sebastian and Antonio. All right. So the thing is, um, this is covering more or less the entire act, act three, scene three. Yeah. So that is the important aspect of that act. And we will cover similarly for all of the acts that are in your syllabus. All right. So if you have to write an answer to this question, how do you expect to do that? So first of all, you will have to make a background. Okay, you can start with William Shakespeare. You can write that William Shakespeare was an Elizabethan writer and The Tempest is a romantic play or a romance. More appropriately, it's a romance. Okay, and a romance was a genre which had grave events but it ultimately had a good ending or a happy ending all right so i am using the verity edition of the tempest and it has this introductory uh, segment and there you can find details about the romance and everything so if you if in case you don't have it i'll be uploading a pdf for them and go through them because they will give you a lot of material all right and please start writing notes if you don't write notes you won't be able to write good answers i tell you and the thing is if it's a 5 or 10 or 15 or 20 marks question it doesn't matter how long you write I mean, yeah, it does matter to some extent. Make sure that you don't write less than five pages. If it's a five marks question, go for three pages, I would say. Three sides, I mean, you know, three or four sides. If it's 10, try to go for five or six sides. All right. Now, the thing is, five or six sides, children are always like, how the heck are we supposed to write so, le so lengthy and how, how are we supposed to cover so many pages? How can we do it? The thing is, you have to be relevant. And how does relevancy and quality come in is what I'm going to tell you. You have to make a background. All right. If you give a background and a conclusion, automatically your pages will increase along with your quality. So how are you supposed to do it? Abhi humne Shakespeare ka background diya, right? Uske baad hum kya karenge? Ki we are going to add a little bit of the, uh, you know, the background from the scene itself. Like here you can write that after, you know, after the shipwreck and everything, the royal party was very much tired and it decided to rest after having, ro after having roamed about the, Island and its maze trod. So, here maze trod is a word that is mentioned in the text. Okay. So, instead of memorizing a uh, you know, instead of memorizing a very long dialogue, you can just pick up certain words and use them as quotations. Quotations ko leke ye cheez hai, kuch points quotation ko leke jo ke aapko dimag mein rakhne hai. Quotations are not for the sake of memorizing. They actually show ki aapne text ko samjha hai. The, the other thing is that use maximum two quotations. Okay, if you, if you can use more than that, good. I mean, I'm so sorry. I meant minimum two quotations. If you can use more than that, perfectly all right. But if you can't memorize bohat zada, then don't quote wrong. Please, galat quotations se aapke pure marks kat sakte hai. So don't do that, all right? Just that. And quotations mein hai na, ki you can pick up some small words. You don't have to go for very long dialogues. You can mention ki they were roaming around the island which seemed to them like a labyrinth or a maze trod. 
quote and quote maze rod all right so you can do smart things like that all right so you mention all of this and you know you can also then mention how alonso was the one who was most tired who was feeling highly exhausted because his hope had got extinguished so alonso ke sath kya hua tha ki uske paas ek ummeed thi ki shayad mera beta mil jayega lekin wo nahi mil raha hai and ab wo literally man mein maan chuka hai ki kuch nahi hone wala hai kuch bhi nahi kar, kar sakte is bare mein aur waise situation mein agar aap ek false hope leke chalte hain to aapko sirf hurt feel hota hai sirf pain feel hota hai you don't have any solid hope and that hurts okay that hurts more than accepting defeat so he just decides ki okay fine i can't find my son and i should just give up and the two people who are happy because of this are antonio and sebastian unka kya plan hai ki royal party thak chuki hai so we are going to you know we are going to kill the people whom we want to kill when they fall asleep out of fatigue and tiredness aur ye logo in logo ko itni achhi neend aayegi itni gehri neend aayegi ki ye log khud ko defend bhi nahi kar payenge aur target kon hai unka alonso aur um, gonzalo right to yahan pe ek cheez aur hai ki antonio is just as um, you know just as treacherous to his brother as Okay I'm so sorry Sebastian is just as treacherous to his brother like Antonio was and you know what it actually shows something like what goes around comes around because this Alonso he was somebody who was very much active in the conspiracy against Prospero and look now his own brother is doing the same thing to him he had assisted Antonio in doing wrong to his brother prospero and now the same thing is coming back to him so this is actually an example of what goes around comes around a moral lesson that the tempest tries to emphasize on all right and you can also mention how this uh, you know how this idea has been explored in other philosophies of the world including the karma philosophy right so you can add such details to make your answer sound more um informative all right that being said i'll come back and yeah and there's this quotation here let it be tonight which antonio says so you can add it and you know it can just be a more uh, you know it can just show more emphasis on the villainy of these two people and if you can do it well and good so after that you can do one more thing you can just then mention how there's this music around and several strange shapes come in and they put a banquet and invite the people to eat and all of that and then you can go on to mention how sebastian antonio and gonzalo remark about the travelers so this is something that you must add in the answer to make it more relevant and to enhance its quality sebastian and antonio say that if such weird things can happen on this island and we can see it we can experience it for ourselves then i think the travelers who talk about phoenixes and unicorns are not wrong at all to us time pe kya ho raha tha elizabeth in england mein that there was exploration of new lands going on right and um yeah so around that because of that exploration jo travelers the wo bahut sari details leke aa rahe the ki duniya ke dusre bhagon mein log kaise rehte hain and wahan pe unhe dikh rahe wahan pe unhe jo log dikhte the ya jo unke cultures dikhte the wo bahut different hua karte the europe ke us time ke europe mein jo culture the ya us time ke so called civilized societies mein jo culture tha usse wo kafi different culture hua karta tha और इसीलिए लोगों को यकीन नहीं होता था कि इस तरह की भी चीजें हो सकती हैं दुनिया में उनके लिए वो बहुत वियर्ड हुआ करता था एंड यहाँ पे सेबास्टियन और एंटोनियो अब कह रहे हैं कि नहीं हो सकता है कि उन्होंने देखा हो क्योंकि हमने भी तो ऐसे चीजें देखी अगर हमें कोई ट्रैवलर आके बता रहा होता तो हमें कभी विश्वास नहीं होता पर अभी देखो अभी तो हमने खुद अपनी आंखों से देख लिया तो ये पॉइंट इंपॉर्टेंट है मेंशन करना और इस पे गोंजालो का जो रिमार्क है वो और ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट है गोंजालो ये कहता है कि इनका शेप या फॉर्म या ये कैसे भी दिख रहे हो लेकिन इनका जो मैनर है इनका जो मैनरिज्म uh, है इनके 
वो हमारे सिविलाइज सोसाइटी के लोगों से दस गुना ज्यादा अच्छे हैं मतलब बहुत ज्यादा बेहतर है हमारे लोगों से राइट तो ये एक्चुअली यहाँ पे एक और चीज आप मेंशन कर सकते हैं देर इज दिस एसेस्ट कॉल्ड माइकल जे मोन्टाइन एंड ही एक्चुअली रोड एन एसे कॉल्ड ऑफ कैनबलीज एंड ऑफ अ मॉन्स्ट्रस चाइल्ड ही रोड दीज टू एसे ओके आई बी मैंशनिंग दम ह्योर तो ऑफ कैनबलीज में वो यही कहते हैं कि जो दूसरे नेटिव uh, हैं जो यू you नो know, दूसरे भागों में जो नेटिव्स रहते हैं उनका जो कल्चर है या उनके जो आपस में सोसाइटल वैल्यूज हैं वो हमारे सो कॉल्ड सोसाइटी सिविलाइज सोसाइटी के वैल्यूज से काफी ज्यादा अच्छे हैं तो ये ऐसा कहते हैं वो और दूसरी चीज ये कि जो ऑफ अ मॉन्स्ट्रस चाइल्ड जो उनका एक ऐसे है उसमें वो एक तरह से एम्फोसाइज ये करते हैं कि हम सिर्फ अपना ट्रूथ जान सकते हैं हम दूसरों का ट्रूथ नहीं जान सकते या फिर पूरे ब्रह्मांड में क्या सच्चाई है ये हम नहीं जान सकते हम बस जो देखते हैं वो हमारे लिए नॉर्मल हो जाता है लेकिन ऐसा नहीं है कि उससे कुछ डिफरेंट अगर कहीं दिख गया तो वो एबनॉर्मल है या फिर मॉन्स्ट्रस है मे बी वो इस सृष्टि का एक अंग है जो जिसके बारे में हमें नहीं पता समझ रहे हैं ना आप मैं क्या कह रही हूँ ये कहने की बात है कि हमारे सामने जो है वो हमारे लिए नॉर्मल है लेकिन ऐसा नहीं है कि अगर हमारे सामने कुछ नहीं है तो वो एब है तो ये जो थॉट है ना ये गोंजालो के इस गोंजालो के डायलॉग्स में रिफ्लेक्ट हो रहा है ठीक है और उसके बाद प्रॉस्परो ये चीज यहाँ पे इंपॉर्टेंट डायलॉग है ये दाउ हैस्ट सेट वेल फॉर सम ऑफ यू देर प्रेजेंट आर वर्स देन डेवल्स तो वो ये कहते हैं कि हाँ सही बात है जो लोग सिविलाइज सोसाइटीज में रहते हैं उनमें से काफी कई तो ऐसे हैं जो कि खुद डेवल्स से गए गुजरे हैं तो वो एक तरह से गोंजालो के साथ अग्री कर रहे हैं ठीक है ऑल राइट एलोन्सो एलोन्सो ने यहाँ पे एलोन्सो के डायलॉग में यहाँ पे एक काफी अच्छा पन यूज किया गया है विद द वर्ड वॉन्ट सो ही सेज ऑल दो दे वॉन्ट द यूज ऑफ टंग अ काइंड ऑफ एक्सलेंट डम डिस्कोर्स तो यहाँ पे वॉन्ट के दो मीनिंग्स है पहला लैक ठीक है कि ये जो पूरा शो किया इन स्पिरिट्स uh, ने उसमें उन्होंने एक शब्द भी नहीं बोला तो दे वर लैकिंग द यूज ऑफ टंग दे डे नॉट यूज दे टंग दे डे नॉट से अ वर्ड राइट और दूसरा मतलब वही है कि हमें तो भूख लगी है हमें तो खाना है तो यू नो वी शुड यूज आर टंग एंड सेबास्टियन इज वेरी मच मोर शेमलेस इन दैट मैनर एंड ही इज लाइक ओके वो तो अपना खाना छोड़ के चले गए पीछे चलो हम लोग चल के खा लेते हैं बस बेसिकली उनका इसका यही मतलब है एंड एलोन्सो वॉज लाइक नो आई वोंट ईट बिकॉज ऑब्वियसली ही इज अपसेट ही डजेंट वॉन्ट टू एंड ही इज अफ्रेड एंड ही इज एक्चुअली अफ्रेड ऑफ दिस नॉवेलिटी सो गोन्जेलो इज लाइक Gonzalo tries to, you know, urge him that you should eat. It's a, uh, it's something that doesn't seem too awkward to me, and that is it. That is what he says. And Alonso also agrees. All right. And here the harpy comes in. All right. So we'll deal with it now. So itna background banana important hai. Okay. And ek aur cheez ye na ki yaha pe jo harpy hai, she is basically showing Christian virtues. Okay. Shakespeare was a devout Christian and the thing is he wanted to highlight the virtues that Christianity wants to highlight okay and this is his final play and um towards the end of everyone's life if you have faith in something it actually gets deepened so i think something similar was happening with Shakespeare at around this time and thus he is trying to be more um you know um more devout while highlighting how repentance is important and ek cheez aur ki harpy jo hai wo ek tarah se specifically point out karti hai alonso ko so why why does she do that and that is so because the harpy uh, you know i'm so sorry alonso's repentance is important kyun alonso is ferdinand's father and he is going to be miranda's father in law तो प्रॉस्पेरो के लिए एक तरह से कहीं ना कहीं ये चीज इंपॉर्टेंट है कि मिरांडा जिस फैमिली में जाती है वो फैमिली इंटेग्रिटी हो उस फैमिली में राइट right? वो अच्छी फैमिली हो तो इसलिए एलोन्सो थोड़ा और स्पेसिफिकली इंपॉर्टेंट हो जाता है और उसका रिपोर्ट उसका रिपेंटेंस बाकी दोनों के रिपेंटेंस से थोड़ा सा ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट है ऑल राइट सो ही इज बींग टेस्टेड 
to the very limits of his patience he is being tested to the very limits of his villainy and that is important all right so ariel comes in as the harpy and he claps his wing upon wings upon the table and with a quaint device the banquet vanishes okay and this again has a christian allegory because they had not earned this meal they had not worked for this they had not earned it they were being tempted by it but they had done nothing to you know get it and i think uh, again i suppose it is in the workbook for the tempest i'll upload the details and the material i'll uh, definitely do that so in that workbook i suppose it is mentioned that christ was also being enchanted or being uh, you know um, distracted by the devil when he was in the wilderness and he was being uh, distracted with food but he did not give in all right so this again has a christian allegory so yeah ariel just comes in and denounces them as the three men of sin and he says that destiny destiny that hath to instrument this lower world and what is in it so basically he mentions that this lower world this world of mortals is guided by destiny everything that happens here is framed is written by destiny okay so he emphasizes ki tum log yahan aise hi nahi aa pahunche ho tum log yahan aaye ho kyunki tumhari kismat tumhe yahan laayi hai tumhari destiny mein tha ye you had to come here you had to pay okay you had to pay for your sins and this is why you are here okay he says that because of destiny the never surfeited sea hath caused to belch you up on this island where man doth not inhabit so the sea is never surfeited right anything can drown in it and it's still not surfeited but even that sea had thrown you out on this island which is uninhabited which is lonely and you are amongst the men who do not deserve to live and i have made you mad i have made you mad and you know now you're going to suffer for it so yeah he calls them fools because you know and, and alonso sebastian and others they try to draw their swords and everything but he laughs at them you know this is how destiny laughs at you you know what this is exactly how destiny laughs at you because you know what you can be a very powerful person you can have all the riches in the world and still there are things that you can't control that are out of your control there are losses in life that you will have to face even though you are good at studies even though you are good at everything there are things that you can't control so this is destiny laughing at them and it is like ha you fools i and my fellows are ministers of fate the elements of whom your swords are tempered may as well wound the winds or be mocked at stabs kill the still closing waters as diminish one down that's in my bloom my fellow ministers are like invulnerable if you could hurt your swords are now too massy for your strength and will not be uplifted but remember for that's my business to you that you three from milan did supplant good prospero exposed unto the sea which hath requited him and his innocent child for which foul deed the bars delaying not forgetting have incensed the seas and shores ye all the creatures against your peace thee of thy son alonso they have bereft and do pronounce by me lingering perdition worse than any death can be at once shall step by step attend you and your ways whose wrath to guard you from which here in this most desolate isle else falls upon your heads is nothing but heart sorrow and a clear life ensuing so yeah this uh, harpy it just tells them that okay fine tum apni talwaron se hawaon se ladai kar lo या किसी भी चीज से लड़ाई कर लो तुम उनको हरा नहीं सकते हो तुम पानी पे तलवार से लड़ोगे तो क्या ही कर लोगे तुम तुम उनको बस बीच में बस तुम पानी को बीच से अलग करोगे थोड़ी देर के लिए और वो फिर जुड़ जाएगा तो तुम उसी तरह मेरा कुछ नहीं बिगाड़ सकते हो क्योंकि आई एम इनविंसिबल एंड यू आर नॉट एंड इन फैक्ट ही एक्चुअली द मैजिक कम्स इन टू द प्ले एंड नाउ द स्वर्ड्स आर टू हैवी एंड यू नो वॉट वाई देर स्वर्ड्स आर हैवी इट्स नॉट जस्ट बिकॉज मैजिक से उनका स्वर्ड हैवी हो गया यू नो वॉट देर इज अ रीजन फॉर एवरी थिंग दैट हैपन्स इन दिस वर्ल्ड एंड देर इज ऑलवेज अ सब कॉन्शियस साइकोलॉजिकल रीजन इट्स नथिंग लाइक यू नो मैजिक हैपनिंग ऑल अराउंड यहाँ पर उनकी स्वर्ड इसलिए हैवी हो गई क्योंकि उनको डर लगा ठीक है उनको डर लगा कि मैंने कुछ गलत किया था और वो वापस आ रहा है एंटोनियो सिबाशियन दे आर इविल पीपल ओके बट इवन देन 
नो मैटर हाउ ईवेल यू आर दे इज ऑलवेज दैट फ्यूर इन योर हार्ट एंड अब उनको डर लग रहा है ठीक है एंड एलोन्सो इज लाइक परफेक्टली ही हैज बीन ड्रिवेन मैड फॉर रियल वो गिल्ट से रिग्रेट से बिल्कुल पागल हो चुका है एंड उससे कुछ नहीं उठने वाला अब कोई उसकी तलवार नहीं काम करने वाली तो ये है एंड ही जस्ट मैं मैंने सारे पावर्स को सारे पावर्स पूरा नेचर तुम्हारे खिलाफ है और अगर तुमको कुछ करना है इफ यू रियली वॉन्ट टू अवॉइड योर डिस्ट्रक्शन दी ओनली थिंग यू हैव टू डू इज दैट यू हैव टू रिपेंट नथिंग एल्स इज गोइंग टू सेव यू एंड स्पेसिफिकली ही पॉइंट आउट एलोन्सो and then he vanishes in thunder and the shapes come again and they take away the banquet and they mock at them that how foolish you have been how greedy you have been so that is it and then prospero um he praises adrian for you know uh, making sure that the entire act had been done as per precise instructions and uh, he leaves them and went uh, and goes on to see ferdinand and miranda so yeah that is what he does and then gonzalo is like you know he is trying to comfort his masters and uh, alonso is like totally shocked he is like it was monstrous he is he has been driven mad he thinks that the winds sang it to him and the thunder and the deep dreadful organ pipe pronounced the name of prospero his sins have actually you know come up to him they have made it up to him and now they are going to torture him and he is like you know what i just want to die i just want to kill myself and sebastian is doing the same thing okay sebastian and antonio are also distracted so they are saying things like but one fiend at a time i'll find their legends over antonio is like i'll be thy second which basically means that you know um let the devils come i'll fight with them whatever happens i'll fight with them he's scared and antonio is like i'll fight with you they are all driven mad okay so that is how uh, the harpies uh, warning affects them and then gonzalo actually uh, tells the entire royal train to follow them to see that they don't end up doing something crazy they don't end up killing themselves in this ecstasy or yeah ecstasy ecstasy is a word that is very important because ecstasy is not exactly happiness we use it in the sense of happiness but it has connections with with dionysus dionysus is a greek god he used to be the god of uh, wine grapes celebration frenzy stuff like that and ecstasy actually somewhere means being being outside your own self okay you forget for that moment who you are all right and this is why ecstasy is not just happiness it its origins are pretty different from how we use it all right that should be enough for you and uh, yeah then the, the, this is how the scene ends so while writing your answer you have to mention the entire thing and you have to start practicing also as regards the answers if uh, i'll try to upload proper pdfs if i have any notes of mine that are perfectly all right otherwise we can just keep discussing answer writing like this and you should definitely make notes watch the video and make a note you will be good to go that way so i'll see you the next time bye bye